Hey you guys, CC back with another Shop My Stash video and it's looking kind of ratchet over there. I know I'm missing a drawer, but it's right here in front of me because that is where I keep all my products that I am using throughout the month or that I plan to incorporate in my makeup routine throughout the month. So that's why that drawer is missing. Nobody has to comment. Thank you. Anyway, this is another Shop My Stash video. I think we are on number... Don't make me laugh. 11, 12, something like that. It'll be in the title. But I have a good array of products here. I have new products as well as products that I haven't seen in such a long time that I forgot I had. Like, I really, really, really went through my products and... I found some really hidden gems that I just really forgot I had. So I'm super excited to show you guys this video. If you have any questions, want to see any of these in a tutorial, any reviews, anything like that, let me know down below. I will definitely do that for you. I've been getting better at that, y'all. If y'all haven't seen my last month's Shop My Stash video, I'm just going to link the entire playlist down below, as well as I did a review video for the products in the Shop My Stash. So check that out. But enough with my rambling let's get started so these products are in no particular order I'm just gonna start pulling out of this drawer here um, but actually I did put this in kind of a little order never mind anyway let's get started the first product is this little Lorac palette and this is the croc palette by Lorac I don't know if it was a full-size palette or if it only came in this little quad, but this is the one I got. I got this off Holt Look years ago. Not years ago. Probably like, well, yeah, probably like two years ago. But um, if you guys don't know about Holt Look, I always have them linked in my description box. Check them out. Anyway, I got this palette from Holt Look for really cheap, and it has these great four eyeshadows. And if you know anything about Lorac, you know they have the best, most pigmented, buttery eyeshadows ever. So those four eyeshadows are amazing. It makes amazing, like, neutral looks. And then it just has this blush right here, which is a really pretty everyday blush. I, I did put a little dent in these two top shadows here, but I kind of use it, and then I stop using it, use it, and then I stop using it. And I I haven't used this in so long so I really want to incorporate that this month into my routine <laughs> I lost my train of thought all right next product is this wet and wild this is a five pan eyeshadow palette and this is the smoke and Melrose palette and it just has really pretty mauve tones so so gorgeous so that I really want to get some looks in with that and this um, video is very eye heavy actually I have a lot of products here but it's very eye heavy because I really went through my eye products and I just found I was like I have to use these I must use these they're so pretty so that's why you're going to see a lot of eye products in this video next is the Lorac shadow this is the baked matte satin eyeshadow in the color insider of course I drop it it is the prettiest blue that you will ever see. I have it everywhere. And this is another product that I got from Holt Look. Just so gorgeous. So pigmented. So buttery. And I absolutely love this shadow. And I have to use it very soon. Keeping it moving. I have the Maybelline quads. These are the iStudio quads. This one is in Copper Chic. And this one is in Give Me Gold. I have featured, I think, both of these in videos before. I know I featured Copper featured copper chic but this is my favorite one Maybelline shadows in these little palettes are amazing so definitely check them out if you haven't we have two NYX um, these are the ultra pearl mania little pigments here and this one is in penny pearl and this one is in baby pink pearl there they go we have another pigment here. This is an e.l.f. pigment, and it's in the color Magical Maroon, and it's a really pretty maroon color. That's going to be gorgeous. And the last eye product, I totally, when I say I totally forgot about this, I totally forgot about this. And this is the MAC Paint Pot in Half Wild. And I opened it yesterday and I was like, oh, this thing is going to be so dried out. But it's still super creamy. I got this probably like a year ago. This thing is still so creamy. And I probably dipped into it one time. I mean, oh, it's so pretty. Look at that color. 
That is the most gorgeous purple ever, so I have to find a way to use that. Moving along with face products, I have a couple highlighters here. The first one is a brand new highlighter that I just showed you guys in my last haul. This is the Laura Mercier Face Illuminator in Indiscretion. And I know you guys have seen this before. It's absolutely gorgeous. So I cannot wait to incorporate that in some looks this month. And along with that, I have the MAC Extra Dimension Skin Finish in Fairly Precious. This, I hate showing... I hate showing products like these because this was a limited edition, but I got this from a CCO a while ago and again, something that I haven't even used, so um, I really want to use this as well. I'll probably just use it in some talking videos like this, not in a tutorial because you can't get your hands on it. Sticking with cheeks, I have some blushes and bronzers. I have four blushes here. The first one is this Milani Bakes blush. This is in Red Vino. And this is the perfect time to use a blush like this because of the holidays. And you just get to be really dramatic and drag queeny if that's what you like, honey. You can do whatever you want in the month of December. I am a firm believer of that because of Christmas and New Year's Eve. And you just get to be bold and crazy with your makeup. Then I have the Black Radiance blush. This is in the color Plum Sorbet. And I think I've shown this on my channel as well. But this blush is so pigmented and it is just so pretty on the cheeks. These can be found at the drugstore, you guys know. So um, go grab it. Along with that, I have the Milani Powder Blush. Perfect everyday blush. And these are the ones with the beautiful rose packaging. I don't know why that closed so hard. <laughs> then I have the MAC blush in Mocha. Oh my God. I have the MAC blush in Mocha. And this is probably one of the first MAC blushes I ever bought. And I kind of picked it up. And then I put it down. And I really never picked it up again. So that is important that I use that this month. Two bronzers. I have the Revlon Photo Ready Bronze and Chic Palette. This is another product that I don't think you can get anymore. I think they discontinued it, um, but I'm going to use it, so I guess I'll just show you guys anyway real quick. But as you can see, these two colors are a little light for me. The concept beyond this, or the concept behind this palette was that there was a bronzer in here for each of the seasons. So when you're at your lightest, you can have your lightest bronzer. When you're at your darkest, you can have your darkest bronzer. The only bronzers that work for me out of this palette are the two darkest ones. So I swirl my brush in those two shades and they work really well for an everyday subtle bronzer. And I really, really like it. So I'm definitely going to be using this this month. Again, you can't get your hands on this, but if you have it, it's nice. Then I have the Sleek Makeup Face Form Contouring Palette, and this is in the color Medium. And this palette was so freaking gorgeous. I don't know why I stopped using it, but I love this bronzer. It's like the perfect color when I want to do a dramatic contour, so I will be using that. And that you can still get on the Sleek website. Alright you guys, we're moving along, I promise. I don't have that much left. Next is a newer purchase, and this is the concealer. This is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. And, oh, I showed you guys this in my foundation routine. Love it. Love it right now. So I will be using this, definitely. And then I have another concealer. This is the e.l.f. Complete Coverage. And this is like a little four-pan concealer palette. I bought this a while ago, and I used to use it for cream contouring, and I just haven't been cream contouring lately. So I'm going to get back into cream contouring and using this e.l.f. palette. The concealers are just so creamy and so beautiful. And this comes in several different colors. This one is in the dark, but it comes in like three different colors, I think. So e.l.f. is like legit I have the NARS translucent crystal powder here this is the light reflecting setting powder the pressed version and I bought this probably used it I probably used it for like a good month or two and then I just stopped using it all together so this will definitely go back into my makeup routine this bad boy was expensive as well so I have to use this thing but I did like the product I just bought new stuff and forgot I had it 
Next I have the NYC Smooth Skin Loose Face Powder and this is a really nice powder for your face. This one I will be using in place this month of my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and I will be using this underneath the eyes. I really do like it. You get so much product and this whole jar is like $5 and it doesn't look cakey underneath the eyes. I really like this so I will be using it. A few more products you guys the first one I know you guys are tired of seeing this but I swear to you this will be gone you will never see this again after this month and this is the NYX liquid illuminator in gleam I just I always forget to use it I like to mix it with my foundations and I always forget but it will be gone after this month I promise you then I have the Too Faced Hangover RX primer this is another primer that I kind of stopped using in the summertime just because I felt like it was a little too moisturizing and you guys you guys know I have um oily skin gosh I can't think I can't talk nothing but you guys know I have oily skin so I stopped using it in the summertime because it was a little too moisturizing so now I'm back into using it and I really love it last two products I have are foundations and the first one is the Becca ever matte shine proof foundation this is in my everyday makeup routine because this is almost gone and I need to get rid of it so I can buy new things so <laughs> this is almost gone I want to use it up love this product I have a full review on it if you haven't seen it I'll link it lastly is the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Fresh Complexion Foundation. This is in the color Classic Tan. And again, I do have a make or a review on this product as well. And this is another product that's just almost gone and it just needs to go. I have new foundations that I need to use, so these two need to go. Alright you guys, so those are all of the products that I will be using over the next month and incorporating them into my everyday makeup routine. Doesn't mean that I'm exclusively using these products, but I will try to use these products as much as possible to go ahead and finish up the ones that I want to finish up, as well as just diversify and try new things. I feel like I've been sticking with these same products lately, so I really want to delve into these products that I have in front of me. If you guys like these types of videos, definitely give me a thumbs up. Like I said before, if you want to see these products in any particular fashion, a tutorial, a more in-depth review, let me know down below and I can do it. Um, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe I love you guys so so much thank you so much for watching thank you so much for supporting me and I will see you in the next video bye guys